we have a little window of time in order to encourage uh, those in the, the Congress to aggressively pursue those things that reflect our faith. It's our God-given rights we're talking about. Now, let's choose to keep them. Put your faith into action. Visit donate.myfaithvotes.org and make a donation today so that together we can keep fighting for our values. Some people get God in a revelation, you know, mm -hmm. it just happens like that. And some people, uh, it takes a little time because they're resisting it. And then yeah. others just take a journey. I think mine was more of a journey because I was raised in a, mm -hmm. in a Christian house. Right. Well, we, you know, I went to Sunday school, I went to church. I, I you know, celebrated Christmas and Easter like a lot of people did. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was 18 or 19, and I was at the University of Minnesota, and I remember asking a question. It was more to myself, really. What is the one question that answers every question? What is the one question that answers every question in the yeah. world? And instinctively, I think I knew there had to be one. I believed in God, but I did not relate those two together. Yeah. Right. And because I believe that a teenager was asking very sincerely, what is this mm -hmm. thing? God really blessed me with an answer that took several mm -hmm. decades.